Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, before I do anything, just want to say a massive thank you to all the new subscribers. Channel's growing at a very, very uh, impressive rate for me, definite. Um, I'm glad that you're all enjoying the videos and uh, thank you for all the lovely comments and etc. Um, so what we're we doing today? Well today, I'm taking this very, very horrible body that I got from Toman and I'm gonna show you how you can make this have a lovely attractive kind of purple burst finish using this. It's gonna be epic. Let's go. Okay, so we're sanding, uh, working our way through the grits, going all the way up to 400 grit. So I'm starting off with a bit of 120. I started off with this and gave it a good old rub down. Um, this the guitar body is very rough, so it needs a lot of sanding. Uh, as you can see, it's a lovely day as well, and there's me in a hoodie sweating away like I do. Um, anywho, um, and the more I sanded, the more <laughs> visible that damage uh, became. Uh, then I washed all down with white spirit to get all the loose bits off out of the grain and everything. And you can really see that damage. <laughs> now, um, <clears throat> I was a little bit worried it might fall apart, but it didn't. Um, and because of the effect I'm going for, oh yes, and beer. Very important to have the beer. And then I went straight for it. And the idea was I wanted to really char, char it up around the edges, really get a good burn on it so it was quite black around the edges. And then just bring it in slightly over the face. Not as much as I did before on the last one. If you want to see the last one, I'll put a link up. Um, and just keep keep the blowtorch moving. Don't stay in one spot for too long because it heats up very quickly. Um, the, the main fear was where that damage was and whether that was going to just split open. But it, it was okay. And it kind of added to the effect, the burn effect, to have the cracks in the wood. So it kind of worked out for this anyway. Um, if I wanted to paint this a solid colour, it would have been a nightmare. And then, of course, grab another beer. It's very important that you keep the beer flowing when you're doing this. <laughs> Other beers are available. And, and then back to sanding. So uh, the more I'm sanding, the more I'm getting lighter on the grits. So I think this is about a 600 grit. And then we keep going. Uh, you can be quite aggressive with it, I've discovered. Um, I'm, a, I'm braver with this one than I was on the last one. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get that really charred up. And it did split a little bit at the bottom, but that's okay. It kind of adds to the effect. And yes, I did forget to put my goggles back on. <laughs> and you can see the effect is starting to come in now. This is uh, what I wanted. And I didn't really want to do any more than that. Don't forget to subscribe, people. <laughs> okay. And on to the back. Um, I've got it on a rubber mat. It's actually That's actually a door mat turned upside down. It did get a little bit charred, but it's okay. It stops the table burning. Uh, it does get quite hot to hold the guitar after a while. It does heat up quite a lot. Um, and there you go. And then more sanding. So this is back with the 600 grit. And I just wanted to get as smooth a finish as I can. And then once you've done that, just wipe it all off with a dry rag. Which leaves you the effect, which I was quite happy with. And you can manipulate it a little bit at this stage. You can add some water if you wanted to and spread that around a bit, whatever you like. And then, obviously, a swig of beer, because that's very important. And then we get the dye. This is a uh, writ dye, purple. It's a water base dye for all kinds of things. And I just rubbed it all over the whole front, including the, back, the black as well. So there was, like, streaks of purple in the black, in the burnt bits. 
very easy to apply, dries very very fast. Um, I did forget to put my glove on here, so it will dye your fingers purple, or whatever colour you're using. <laughs> but it's literally as easy as that, just working it in, pushing it into the grain. And you can do this as many times as you like. And, uh, I think here we've we've got about five coats of dye on, and I'm sanding in between each coat, going lighter and lighter, and then polishing with a dry rag, uh, going round with some water, and you know on bits to manipulate it, if you like. And you can just play around with this for as much as you like to get the effect that you want. And while that was drying off, I did the headstock. Just did a strat shape, pretty easy. Jigsaw it out. There you go. And then put a coat of. This is a satin uh, varnish. It's a water-based varnish. The first coat, when you put this on, does pull some of the dye up and some of the black up as well, which is good because it helps uh, blend it in a little bit more. Um, and this again dries very, very fast, especially outside in the sun. So just apply this with a clean rag. Uh, I think I did about five coats and lightly sanded in between coats on the front and by everywhere and then while that was drying off into the workshop to sand the headstock round to get that nice and smooth and there you go, bosh very easy to cut these maple necks, very easy to sand as well so this is a thousand grit I'm doing a wet sand on the uh, on the uh, the varnish, just very very lightly, and then while that's drying off with the next coat, I did a fret polish, <laughs> and then lemon oiled the neck. Very dry, the neck was, so I, I put a lot of this on and uh, work that in there, work it in, and that neck is gorgeous now. You can see, lovely. These are rosacea fretboards, I believe. And then on with the uh, tuning keys. The amount of guitars I see with the white plastic still left on, it's actually meant to be pulled off. So pull them off. It looks better without. It's just a protective sticker, I think. Um, very easy to put in. No, it's all pre-drilled already, so. There you go. Easy peasy peasy. Did my blue spanner. That's all ready to go. Probably wasn't necessary to show all this really. I could have cut this out, but there you go. Watch time and all that. <laughs> Okay, so the uh, guitar body is all nice and dry. Um, so we're going to go ahead and build it. Very easy. This is all very self-explanatory, really. All the parts are there. There are instructions. I didn't use them. We don't really need them. If you know anything about guitars at all, don't really need to do any soldering either because it's all uh, done for you. So this is all very straightforward, and it actually all went together really, really well. Uh, all the lines are in. Uh, all the sorry. All the holes are in the right place. And uh, all the hardware is okay. It's not the best quality in the world, but it's not going to be. Um, despite that awful routing, it all went in okay. Um, the the loaded scratch plate has plastic on on it. Um, I always take the knobs off when taking the plastic off because I hate that. A horrible scratchy noise you get when the plastic's like left underneath the knobs and these for some reason have two layers of plastic I don't know why but they do so you take all that off lovely jubbly and you can see the uh, jack socket and all the wiring is just a plug you just plug it in job done and that's the earth wire goes to the trim claw 
And it's just a case of getting the wires all the right place. I would have preferred it if they had just routed out for routed the whole centre of the guitar out rather than just for single coils. You don't have the option unless you route it out yourself to put humbuckers in, but that's how it come. And all the holes lined up great, and it was all very straight and very happy. So once the neck was on, there was no um, there was no cutout for the top E. <laughs> Weirdly, on the nut. I didn't notice that until I put the strings on. So I had to uh, cut a little groove in there with my nut file. Didn't take very long. So not a big deal. But there you go. Um, and then just stringing it all up. These are the strings that actually came with the kit. I used everything that came with the kit on this one. So this is as you get it. And actually, they're okay. Just using a little tuner app. Which I like to use. And uh, then it's just a case of setting this guitar up. It's that quick. If you want to see videos on how to set a guitar up, I'll put a link up now. Duke. There are many ways of doing it, but this is how I like to do it. I'm just setting the balance in the trem at the moment, so it's got a slight pullback. I like to have a little pullback on my uh, trem, so I can bend it either way. So I kind of have it floating. And then stretching the strings in, of course, before you do intonation stuff. Uh, once you've done the trem, then the next job is the truss rod. Always do the truss rod first. Um, have a slight relief at the fifth fret and... Uh, that's how you do it there. Truss rod, just tighten that up. It came completely loosened off. And then once the truss, you're happy with the truss rod, do the string height. And then once you're happy with the string height, do the intonation. It all set up very, very easy and set up as it should. Not an issue. All intonated very well. Got a good action on it. Nice and low. Which I was, and I was very happy with it. So, there you have it. Uh, didn't quite turn out how I expected, but I'm still happy with it. I call it like a burnt purple, or 
purple burnt or something, I don't know. But um, considering how bad this body is, it's come out okay. Um, obviously, if uh, you had a more expensive piece of wood, like a nice piece of ash or something like that, you could get a much better result. But for what this is, I think it's come out all right. Um, what is apparent now is the cracking that was on this, well, that is on this guitar. Um, I reckon it's been dropped. <laughs> you can really see it. Sorry, you can really see it. Uh, now that um, I've done the work uh, to it, um, which is a real shame considering this was a replacement uh, kit because I complained about the first one being bad. This one's actually worse. The body's worse. Um, but the rest of the kit's fantastic. I can't fault it really. The pickups sound great, all bolts together really nice. The trem, even though it's got a small block and everything works really lovely, doesn't bind. Um, it didn't have a um, top E slot cut out of the nut, which is weird, so I had to do that. But tuners are just fine. I didn't... Um, do any burning effect on the neck be only because it's so nice and I didn't want to not wreck it but I didn't I just wanted to keep it like that because it's just a lovely neck um, I'm really happy with that it plays beautifully it's all that tune but it plays beautifully um, so yeah big thumbs up but shame about the body now, I know uh, a few people have said to me, well, you get what you pay for, they're only cheap, and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I get that. But what I'm complaining about is that I haven't received what they've advertised on their webpage. Um, I'll put a link to, to it in the description so you can go look for yourself. The one that's shown on there is perfect, obviously. And if you look at all the build photos on there, um, the body looks really, really great. And it's one of the things that attracted me to buying it in the first place and it does say on there that it is ready for varnishing it's not ready for varnishing and it and it also says on there that if you want to use a stain on it then you have to rub the sealer off so it's suggesting that it can be stained um i wouldn't suggest it so if you do like these kind of videos, then please do hit the subscribe button, uh, leave a comment if you wish, give it a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't, either way helps me out. Um, not sure what I'll be doing in the next video, this is the last one of these, I'm not doing any more uh, Harley Benton strap kit builds, I might get myself a Telecaster, maybe try that out, but that won't be for a little while. I do have the Harley Benton 335, or Harley HB35, sorry, which I'm uh, doing a refinish on, so there'll be some videos on that coming up. Um, anyway, so till next time, peace.